Hi, I'm Laura, and welcome back to the Tarot Genie, where you receive insightful, intuitive answers from the tarot to your burning questions about business, career, creativity, communications, self-development, spirituality, and more. This week, we're going to tackle the question of how do you live in the present moment? The only moment we truly have to live is in the present. The past is past and the future is uncertain. And I become more aware of this as the years go by, realizing that, wow, you know, if you're not 20 anymore and you're quite beyond, many decades beyond the age of 20, time can seem like it's speeding up. And it definitely has. I am still focusing on expanding time, but the key is we never know how much time we have left. We never know how much time, our, how long our lives will actually be. So we need to, all we can do to live fully is to make the most of our lives in this moment. So I thought it would be appropriate to tackle this question of how to make the most of this moment. Seeing it from the angle of the mental perspective, what philosophies or beliefs should we embrace to do this, to be able to enjoy the moment. Physically, what do we need to do? You know, how do we carry ourselves or what physical activities should we take on so that we can fully engage in life and just get all the juice out of it we can and finally spiritually how what, what advice do we give and what whether it's music to listen to or books to look at or to, not to look at to read and actually on those lines as usual I'll share with you a book now if you're not religious or spiritually oriented you can ignore this but it is a book that for me spiritually speaks to the issue of how to make the most of each moment because it's so inspirational i can read this book just a few paragraphs from it and i feel so inspired and so juiced and so energized to go about my day and that book or this book is called the songs of god an interpretation of my favorite psalms by Joseph Murphy. Joseph Murphy wrote many, many books. He was a metaphysician back in the 1900s, and one of his most well-known books is The Power of the Subconscious Mind. But what I most enjoy about this book is that it, it's a metaphysical and metaphorical interpretation of the Psalms. And he talks about the Psalms in a multi-dimensional way so that you can really tap into their soothing nature, their inspiration, etc. And, you know, if you're not religious, if you're not spiritually oriented, find some other book that really does it for you in terms of elevating your spirit. It could be about nature, it could be about anything, something though that taps into the power of your heart. And that's what this book really does for me. I just like some of the, the I, so many of the quotations in it. For example, when he talks about one of the verses from, this is Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And he says, this verse informs you point blank that there's only one power and it is all light, meaning supreme intelligence and light means intelligence. So that really speaks to me personally. So I just wanted to share that with you. But again, if you're not, spiritually or oriented in a religious way, just find a book, poems, etc., something in nature or about music or art that speaks to you, that animates your personal spirit. Now getting into the shuffling for this reading, you know, how can you make the most of each moment of the present moment mentally, sp mentally physically, and spiritually? And I'll continue shuffling, question into the cards, and as always, when I feel that ding of awareness, selecting three cards. All right, card number one, what do you need to think about, embrace, ponder, mentally to be present, to make the most of your life in this moment. Hmm, this is quite interesting, the Seven of Wands. 
Now in this court, now seven, the number I also do some numerology, relates, it's kind of a number of spiritual focus. But we have in this image is a man who appears to be fending off other people who are coming at him. He so has the advantage, he's on, he has the vantage point in that he's atop a cliff. But I think what this is saying in a positive light, because this card can often be feel negative, it's like as if someone's too defensive and he's fighting off someone. But I think what this is saying, and given that the wands represent passion and purpose, is mentally to make the most of this moment now. You need to keep your focus and be def basically defend your passion and purpose no matter what is happening around you. Because you can get so sidetracked by all, now this could represent social media, the negative, all those negative remarks, things that happen on Twitter and Facebook. There's a lot of negativity. I mean, there's so much good. I love to use Facebook and Twitter, but there's so much negativity. We all know what happened in the past few years with elections, et cetera, that there was a lot of uh, their negative forces operating in social media. So I believe what this image of the Seven of Wands is saying is mentally be prepared if you want to fully engage in life and enjoy the present moment is to stand firm on what is most important to you. Let go, do not be sidetracked by any negative distractions, things that could take you off of your game, take you away from your priority. Be firm, defend that, your purpose to the core to make the most of, of your time of this present moment. Otherwise, the time will flee, flow by and you will not have made the most of your time. So embrace that. I see this wand is signifying his personal passion and purpose that he is going to represent you to, stat, to be steadfast with. The next card, physically, what, what can you do physically to fully engage in the present moment? Wow, another wand. So this is a lot of passion and purpose. And physically, this is saying perhaps take on a new exercise program because this often also deals with physicality. It's a very masculine car, but fire energy, the wands represent fire energy. But what physical discipline or what physical practice, new one, because it's an ace of wands representing something new, and this hand is a divine hand I always see. Now, if you don't buy into the divine aspect of it, just see it as something fortuitous, you know, something in your life that is presented to you and that is meant expressly for you. So think about a new type of exercise program or getting out in nature, grabbing it with gusto, but moving about in life physically in a strong, passionate way. Because this wand is all about fire energy and it's about a new, something new, the Ace of Wands. I love the Aces, and especially because for me, you see this radiating hand it to me always represents a divine opportunity, an opportunity from the universe. So look around and think about physical things you can do that will stir your soul, so that will animate your physical being. It could be yoga, start a new yoga practice. I'm all about yoga. Jump on the trampoline, get out and start walking briskly. And there are many different ways of walking in a way that's most powerful. I think I have a book, it's on my shelf, I don't have it with me at the moment, called Walk Like an Athlete. It's a very strong way, a specific way of walking to get the most energy out of your body and to, to get the most reward or benefits from the physical exercise of walking. So think about what new physical practice you can start to keep, to raise your vibration, to keep you in flow in this moment. And finally, spiritually, what is recommended for you? Ah, love this card. It's the one of the most tender cards, I think, that I see in the tarot. Of course, the six, uh, it's a six, and six relate, sixes relate to community, being with others. 
and the cups of course reflect feelings and emotions and what we see here what jumps out to me is this car is also associated with nostalgia but if you want to be in the present moment we don't want to focus too much on the past but although bringing the the positive past into the present and he's taking time to smell the roses and present it this boy to his sister and focus on what you can share to animate your spirit to make the most of this moment spiritually is find a way that you can give of yourself give from your heart give the flow of energy coming from your heart the flow of feeling the flow of love in a tender delicate way she's looking up at him with such you know like the eyes of a sister who's admiring her older brother and of course he has this headdress it looks like a jester but it's that red headdress to me representing passion that feeling nature and passion and her shoe her shoe matches his leggings and his headdress and there's of course there's this illumination so think spiritually of how you can share your light with others share your passion share your feelings kindness and giving nature with others in this present moment and that's how to make the most of of the present moment i believe this has been an informative reading starting with defending your you know, being standing firm on what's most important to you mentally just acknowledging that secondly as a physical practice what you can do is to start something, look for some new type of physical exercise or program that you can delight in that is brand new, that can may help you make the most of the moment. And finally, spiritually, to focus on coming from your heart, sharing with others your feelings, your tenderness, your gifts, give gifts to others, to your community as the sixes, as the sixes advises us to do. And if you do these, combine these techniques together, I believe this will help you to make the most of the present moment. And that's what it's all about. That's what life is about, is making the most of the present moment. I hope you found this helpful. As always, I will recommend a selected piece of music to listen to for seven days. I will put information about the Joseph Murphy book in the notes. And next week we will tackle the question of how do you move from concern to confidence about a particular challenge? Illumine your mind, inspire your life with the tarot. Until next time.